Welcome back. Are sanctions on Iran a lost cause? Will they ever stop the endless pursuit of nuclear weapons? CIA Director Michael Hayden, not so confident they will. We engage, they continue to move forward. Uh, we, we vote for sanctions, they continue to move forward. Uh, we try to deter to dissuade, they continue to move forward. There you got the former CIA director. Also recently, leaked military files allege there are direct ties between Iran and terrorists in Afghanistan. Can Iran be stopped? Joining us right now to weigh in on these issues, we have Human Majd, journalist and author of The Ayatollah's Democracy, Zad Moazid, advisor on Middle East relations, and Mary Apik, award-winning Iranian actress and human rights activist as well. All right, Human, let's start with you. Uh, are we close to a strike? On Iran? I don't think so. I, I think it's very unlikely. I think the rhetoric has been notched up quite a bit on both sides, actually. And I think it's a, there's a bit of a propaganda war going on. But I really don't see a strike. Uh, I think it's highly, highly unlikely at this point. Although, Zad, we hear uh, the Iranians talking about how they would like to wipe Israel off the face of the map. But you say that's just grandstanding for the people in Iran. I say it's just for consumption domestically, yes. So Iran would never attack Israel? Is that what you think? I think based on Iran's history uh, for 2,500 years, uh, Iran has attacked, to the best of my knowledge, twice. Uh, uh, was was an mm. aggressor. Iranians, sure. by nature, are not aggressors. It's a lot of talk grandstanding, and I said, is for domestic use only. Okay. Mary, what do you think is going on over there? Well, um, it's uh, known um, that the past three decades has been a proof that uh, the Iranian government has been deceiving the world, and uh, to my opinion, that the world has been sitting and waiting uh, for a, some sort of a conclusion by negotiations with the country of Iran and trying to create some sort of a peace and a dialogue that uh, we can physically be able to understand what they're doing in that country and how they're managing their affairs. Unfortunately, through all the efforts that has been taken, we have not reached to any type of a solid communication with a country that has made a mockery of the world and has been abusing women and children and their own people mm -hmm. in the country that they live. Right. So as a result... And, and Human, you, guess, you, 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 she's making the case about negotiations. You say that negotiations the only solution. Well, I think it is the only solution. I can't see any other solution. A military strike, um, even the administration, uh, current U.S. administration itself says, is, is unlikely to be successful. And there are dangers with it, which are um, unimaginable dangers. So there really is only one solution. The sanctions aren't going to work. Um, again, the Obama administration admits that themselves, basically. Um, it, Iran is not an isolated mm -hmm. country in the way that we imagine it to be. It's not the same situation as South Africa uh, before um, a, right. in, the, in the era of apartheid. So it's a, it's a very different country. Russia and China are still allies of Iran in some, on some level. Um, sanctions are just simply not going to work. So the only thing that can work is negotiations. Mm -hmm. There has to be real effort on both sides to get to the negotiation. Yeah, and we're nowhere near that right now. All right. Uh, Human, Zad, and Mary, we thank you all for a great discussion about what happens next in Iran. Thank you. Thank you.